if you hear something weird, it's my brother working out in the background. Do you want to elaborate on what you mean by your brother working out in the background? Wrong brother. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content and everything. We're on Patreon for Twitter account for like. And today is a very anticipated day, isn't it? Oh, yes. It uh, is. And it just so happens I'm having my afternoon cha while we do this, too. So I'm quite yeah. content right now. Oh, if I only had my buttons. Uh, mm. Then we have the. What would you have said? Oh, oh and Ronnie. Uh, oh, there you go. The we have the new trailer for LJP's new film with Mohan Lal. Um, oh, they have a new movie coming out. I had no idea. Apparently, uh, Malai Kotai Valai Ban. <laughs> you know why can't we go back to easier titles from this man like Jalikatu? Because this is becoming very difficult to remember your titles if you're not the speaker of your language. You know, sir. There's there's no way I'm ever gonna remember that name. It's 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 funny. I mean, it, it's I mean, my goodness. Make your title whatever the hell you want it to be. It's yeah. just so often his titles I just can never remember by the name because they're just so long. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so <laughs> this is very exciting. Let's just get into it and then we will talk about it. Like we didn't even after. we didn't even Corbinize the one last year. We just referred to it as the LJP movie from early in 2023. <laughs> yeah, the Mamudi LJP film. There's no way I can pronounce that film. All right, ready? Yeah. Yes, bring it. I'm excited. Here we go. Jayam, Adine Karvajur Lehrila. Oh, wow, look at that. That is, that's an incredible shot. Madhya Marunnal. Adine Lola Nyirikinna Chadika Tangarilla. Holy shot. Inna Mangota Kalariyode Ayutam Kootun Chadiyanu. Okay. Oh, Karayanam. Chori and Vinana Katalunda Gunadu. Ah, Katalinda D in the Surian Udichuverum. Surian the tea. He caught a chambalakum. Okay, so right. so nothing to talk about there. Okay, so we can just move on. Yeah. All right. Well, that was thanks for stopping by, guys. <laughs> Good God, the the visuals on that were next level, and he always has amazing visuals. He like he he obviously with the, what he does with this. I don't know if the same cinematographer is working on this at all, but um, that he usually works with him. But this seems like almost stepping up a notch, um, just almost like Sanjay Leela Bansali beauty uh, in some of the shots. Um, God, was that gorgeous. 
And I'm so intrigued. And I'm so intrigued. It feels like Alejandro Iñárritu and Martin Scorsese had a baby. Yeah, it does. Right? Uh, uh, The quality and the feel of that is as good as any trailer I've seen from those two masters of filmmaking. And we've said it before. We've known this about him. We, I believe we said this to him when we had our interview with him, that, that he, he is one of the most important filmmakers on earth right now. And I couldn't be more excited to see this film based. I mean, I was already excited, but this now has upped it even more. Cause that was a beautiful trailer. Hopefully we get it. Uh <sighs> Because mind-bogglingly frustrating, uh, fight because it comes out the same weekend as Fighter. I'm already seeing showtimes for Fighter. Um, of course, uh, that's curr- understandable. Yeah, currently, uh, let me double check real quick. Double check, please come up. Two please and a half come is up. the run to- is the runtime right now? Nope, not right now. Um, currently nothing. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I like last year. I'll drive to Little India oh. if we need to. Hey, easily he's one of the few that without I, hesitation I, I would i would if if it oh, if it was in san diego i yeah. consider the conversation I, yeah. I love him that much yeah and you know that you're going to get a high quality production can we talk about like how i mean obviously everybody knows lgp's i don't know if he's the biggest director in malayalam but he has to be at least in the top three um he's I'm gotta sure, be i'm sure there's people that we don't know of but to work last year with Mamudi and yeah, and now Mahan will. I mean, <laughs> talk about a one two punch, <laughs> um, back to back. Uh, and this looks this looks because his films obviously they have a certain level of brilliance and um beauty, but this looked big, and I've never seen a film of his that looks big yet. I Agreed. don't think. Right. Everything has been um, small in, in yeah, terms of setting. Intimate wise. Yes. It's, per, it's a pretty intimate setting. This looks like a big story. Yeah. Uh and but I it also felt almost especially in some of the shots, Shakespearean. Uh which is not surprising with him um, yes. at all. So it, it wouldn't shock me if he's like because they look like I don't know if there's gonna be mass moments, but it looked like there might be some big moments from Ohanlal in there. Yes. It um, did. And it 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 felt like um man, I wish I could remember the name of the film. It's from two years ago. Bardo. Uh Bardo. This reminded me of the cinematography, which is Oscar level cinematography. Um, as good as it gets cinematography. It it, it had it just, it did. It felt like the blending of Un- Inuritu and Scorsese. And I'm that excited for this thing because it does, it looks like it has an, a more epic scale in terms of setting and story than the typical stuff we see with him, which falls into the intimacy of village life. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, and so my I goodness. I, I don't know the... The runtime here, because on IMDb it says 105 minutes, and then, and then on Fandango it said 2:30. I would believe the Fandango runtime. You think so? Yeah, I mean, who knows? But I would, I would, I would imagine it's a longer runtime, not not a just a po- post 90 minutes. Who, who it's knows? LGP. Who knows? It's LGP. It is. Though. It um, is LGP. He has. And I'm I'm kind of upset with him though because I did see some white people and he's our dosed and he didn't call us. Seriously, so I am a little upset with him there. Uh... And if for some reason, God forbid, the sin occurs that this does not get theatrical distribution in the United States, please, sir, can we yeah. have a screener so we yeah. can review your film and we can see your film? Yeah, please, much, please, please. I'd much prefer to see your film in theater though. I yes, would much would mu- it would shock me to not have LJP and Mahanlo distributed in the U.S. It would really shock me. Yeah, I, we'll wait more for next week because um, obviously yeah. Fighter's going to take up it, a lot of screens. There's still um, films running from, from uh, a week ago, um, new films there, coming out. It is so. so crowded. If you look at any of the movie theaters right now, there's more movies out than theaters can hold because of new releases that were slated. Plus anything that, I mean, 
Oppenheimer's back at the Chinese theater because of all the attention it's been getting at the Globes, Critics' Choice. It just got a ton of BAFTAs. It's going to get Oscars. And Poor Things is going to get a broader distribution, too. Yeah, and we didn't get... And um, Holdovers is sticking in theaters, even though you can stream that. Yeah, we didn't get Captain Miller. We didn't get... Um... Merry Christmas. And yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because stupid babies who've messaged me about that and I haven't replied. The reason you don't have a review, those two films aren't here. Yeah. Um, maybe uh when they come to OTT, we can do a watch along. Um yeah. of those. Because obviously we wanted to see both. We were planning on it's just seeing a, we were it's planning a on crowded, seeing crowded, crowded theater world right now. But I will be extremely theaters. upset if we do not get the LGP film in theaters. I, me too. I'll be uh, very sad um because yeah then you guys know brilliant trailer very excited great. oh also if you're still here um the shahid's trailer dropped and it does not have subs um the new big indie right. film with shahid kapoor and creedy they, and creedy and they did not put the production house felt that english subtitles uh well wasn't necessary whatever uh whatever <laughs> Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about the trailer, if you're excited for it, and uh, anything else we need to know down below. Josh!